Hi you guys, Gamekeeper John here. Uh, got a little theory for you today, I don't know if it works or not. Uh, you come into my head yesterday when um, we was talking about thumb grips, finger supports and actually gripper frames. So uh, I'll show you my little conclusion of what I think. Uh, it's involving uh, catapult accuracy, as there's a lot of technical stuff coming into it recently, like pouch release, locking your armour, loads of other stuff, fork width, fork height, pouches, uh, band cuts, everything. just want to share this with you guys. Um, when shooting in the finger and thumb support, not wrapping your fingers round, just bracing against the catapult. I've noticed, uh, I'm going to take this outside and uh, do this video actually proper shooting in a minute and slow the shots down so we can see the aftermath, see what happens. Just keep your arm on the frame now. That was a bit loose to be honest, but the point I'm trying to get across is when you let go of the thumb and finger support, once the bands come this way, it pulls away from your thumb. Not a lot, and if you grip the handle tight, obviously you can stop the movement a bit more. But um, when you grip the frame, like so, actually get your thumb and your finger around it, and you let go then, there's no movement backwards. It's got me thinking now, if you're shooting in that position, and the band comes over and obviously it pulls away from your thumb like that, is it going to affect the accuracy, or would the shot long be gone by then, or that? Uh, as I say, I don't know if there's any difference or not, it's just a theory at the moment, but... You know, it's, it's no point in locking your elbow out straight, not moving anything, and then having the catapult flap at the end, because that's like defeating the object to keeping it all straight, if you know what I mean. So, it's just got me thinking. Is a gripper frame more accurate? So, uh, I can't say, because I don't know, but uh, I'm going to take it outside now. And uh, as I say, we'll take a couple of shots with a thumb and finger support, like that. We'll take a couple of shots with gripping it, like so. But uh, we'll slow them down, see what happens. Uh, definitely shooting the thumb and finger support, there is more movement in the frame as it releases, like so. But will that affect accuracy, or will the ball like lung be gone out the way before that happens? I don't know, we'll give it some slow motion bits and have a look. Something to at least talk about anyway, innit? Right then guys, uh, just been watching the video back, as you can see I've got it on photo editor here, so slowing the shots down and that. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that obviously the frame definitely does move more, whether it affects the accuracy or not is a different question. Uh, I've also noticed when you brace the from, you uh, seem to automatically flip because you're pushing on the catapult. Once the elastic loses off, your automatic reaction is to flip forward and you seem to get an automatic flip with thumb braces I've noticed. Uh, not so much with a grip pad, there's a slight flip, but as I say, there's more of a flip with that. So uh, I'll let you make your own conclusions up, guys. I'm not saying one's better than the other, you know. It was just something that came into my mind, and I wanted to put the video out there and uh, let you all see what you think. Um, as I say, I don't think one's better than the other. There might not be a difference, there might be a little difference, there might be a big difference. Um, not too sure, but as I say, when you grip like that, there's not as much movement when you let go as there is with a thumb and finger support. But I shoot in the thumb and finger support, and you know, I shoot pretty well like it, so you know, it's one to chat about, it's one to talk about. Uh, that's what catapults are here for discuss, talk, find little things, you know, have a debate about them, and that. Uh, that's the best part about it. So, I uh, hope you all had a good Christmas, and I uh, hope you all have an even better New Year. And uh, it's my birthday today, so I'm going to get myself on the beer now and have a good day. So, uh, all the best for 2012.